Hey guys, even here, and in today's video, we got some really interesting news. We're gonna start with a very, very exciting announcement for the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing 2024. We're gonna have such an amazing roster of bodybuilders. As you can see, we have our current Mr. Olympia, of course, Derek Lansford guest posing, Nick Walker, who is at a time gonna be like a one week out of New York Pro. We have Big Remy coming back out of nowhere, Samson Dauda who is probably gonna be off at that point, and Andrew Jack who is prepping for Dubai Pro, and Hunter Labrada who we just saw recently who looks really massive, and Chris Bumstead is not gonna be guest posing, he's a special guest, he's probably gonna do a little speech or something like that. Now you guys know that Pittsburgh Pro is Jim Mannion's show, and when these guys are invited, they gotta show up. You guys remember what happened to Big Remy after he decided not to appear? We still don't know the reason why he didn't show up, but then later, that same year, he placed fifth at the Mr. Olympia, and he was first, he won the Mr. Olympia the year before, I think it was fair to give him that fifth spot, but I'm just saying, it would be foolish not to show up unless you have a really good excuse, so this is gonna be an amazing guest posing, honestly, this is probably more exciting than most of the pro shows, even though it's not officially judged, the audience can see who looks like what, but of course, all these guys are gonna be in different stages of their off-seasons or preps, but that's what makes it more interesting, you know, you're gonna see these guys in different editions. Now, last year, I think the winner of this guest posing was Derek Lunsford, and he won the Mr. Olympia uh, later the same year. The year prior to this, when the reigning Mr. Olympia at the time, Big Remy did not show up, Derek Lansford completely stole the show, it was the first time he was doing the Open that year, and he looked surprisingly big and in really good shape, and that was probably the first time we realized that Derek Lansford is gonna be one of the top guys in the Open. So Pittsburgh Pro guest posings are always really exciting, really interesting, I can't wait to see this one, but what is interesting about this one the most is the comeback of Big Remy. The last time we saw Big Remy on stage was Arnold Classic 2023 and he looked probably, potentially, at his biggest and the most conditioned. He was really on, he was really on, but there were certain issues that he couldn't fix, a lot of his body parts were kinda melted, deformed, he had dents, he had bumps, uh, we don't know what happened to him, but he wasn't really at his best in terms of having clean look, fresh lines, he kinda looked like he suffered multiple injuries to his physique, we still don't know what happened, but you know, again, he was big, he was shredded, potentially even more shredded than he was when he was winning the Mr. Olympia, maybe even bigger than he was at that time, there were certain gaps in his physique, such as here, you can see his lats did not look very good, he's hiding the bumps in his glutes with his trunks, his calves did look downsized, his arms were definitely smaller, his forearms too, so even though he was big and peeled, it wasn't his best. Last year, at the end of the year, it was December, he posted this physique update, in which he definitely did look more fresh, and you guys probably remember that he did that stem cell treatment, and they said it's gonna take a while for it to actually show results, you know, like six months to a year, so maybe at this point he finally recovered, he did say that he's not done, that he's not retired, and if he's doing a guest posing now, that means he's still big, he still looks good, even though we did not see him for a while, this physique update is from December, so back in December he looked like this and this was pretty good, I think it was a little bit better, but maybe he recovered a little bit more by now, it's been 4 months since this update and it's gonna be 5 months between this update and Pittsburgh Pro, so if he's doing a guest posing, that means that he's back on the track, it means he's gonna look massive, but we'll see if he fixed his, I don't know, injuries, his problems with his physique, whatever it was, we'll see him on stage, finally, soon, so that's very exciting, I don't know what he's gonna look like, but we'll see, as far as the other guys, I think Nick Walker is probably gonna be the most impressive, because we all know how big he is right now, how much bigger he is, and also he's gonna be like one week out of New York Pro, but then Andrew Jack is guest posing as well, and Andrew is like a mass monster, and he's also gonna be almost ready, so he's gonna be a sight to be seen for sure, 
I mean, Derek is probably also going to be very impressive. He's always very impressive when he does his guest posings because he's always in really good shape. And I feel like he loses a lot of muscle when he's dieting down because his fat distribution is weird. You know, he needs to lose a lot of fullness in the legs in order to get everything else in decent conditioning. So I think Derek, Nick and Andrew Jack are going to dominate this show and maybe Big Grammy will see. But we do have a new physique update from Nick Walker at around 6 weeks out of uh, New York Pro. And I gotta say, his conditioning is definitely coming along. Look at him right here. He's definitely starting to get that, that, that dry, uh, crispy look. But, you know, he still has a ways to go 6 more weeks. But as far as size, he definitely looks like he added a significant amount of muscle. Which for me, and I'm sure for most of you, seemed uh, unimaginable. Because he really looked big last year and it seems like he progressed furthermore. Look at his most muscular right here. I mean, look at the conditioning. He is getting in really good shape and uh, the size, the fullness. Like This is definitely the freakiest bodybuilder of today. Look at the freaking biceps. The midsection is kind of throwing me off, but he can control the, the abs very nicely. And on stage, you will never see a bubble gut from Nick Walker, but his midsection area is kind of taking up a lot of space. And this is what his gut looks like when he is relaxed, right? So it's not like he doesn't have a bubble gut. He has it. He has it big time, but he controls it on stage better than anybody, probably, because there isn't many bodybuilders with this big of a gut who are controlling it on stage that well. I mean, I don't know if Hari Trupan has a bubble gut on stage, you can never see that. His stomach is literally always in a vacuum position, basically. But maybe if he filmed these kind of videos, a day in a life and stuff like that, you would catch Hari relax and let his stomach go. Maybe he's got it a little bit as well, but Nick Walker here is completely relaxed. I don't know if he was even aware that he was being filmed here, because he really let that gut go. Like, he really relaxed it, and yeah, we can see how big it truly is. I remember Phil Heath being criticized at one point uh, for relaxing his midsection in the backstage, even. Some people were saying that these bodybuilders should always control their midsections backstage, on stage. But even at home, even when they're filming uh, Dana Life videos, well, you know, maybe, maybe yes. Maybe we should never see their guts. But it is what it is. We just saw Nick's. And here you can see this most muscular again. Very good, very massive, very round. Conditioning is coming along. Easy win at the New York Pro. Domination at the Pittsburgh Pro. Whether he's going to win the Mr. Olympia or not. You guys tell me in the comment section what do you think. Uh, what do I believe? Mm, it's going to be really tough. Maybe, maybe if the other guys are off, but if they are on, you know, it's most likely not gonna happen. He is not that much bigger than them, right? He is big, he is definitely the biggest guy out there, and he's gonna be very conditioned, but, you know, with his structure, he needs to be, like, more conditioned and, like, a lot more bigger in order to win, you know? So, I mean, it's not very likely, if you ask me, but I don't know, freak factor can go a long way. In order to win, he needs to go through Hadi and Derek Lansford as well. This is what Derek Lansford looks like right now. We can see a full physique update right here. And, you know, I don't see, like, some crazy changes. I don't think he gained, like, 10 pounds of muscle. Like, Nick, I don't know how much Nick gained, but Nick definitely does look bigger. Derek Lansford right now, I mean, he looks good. He looks great. He looks as big as he was last year but not significantly improved, and in order for him to come in peeled, he needs to add more tissue, so he can sacrifice a little bit of it to get really conditioned, because against Hadi, and now, probably against Nick, who is gonna be shredded and, like, really massive, he needs to get a little bit bigger, and did he do that? I don't think so. I don't see it. However, like I said, he has the structure, beautiful aesthetics, and size, for sure, he is not small, and comes in decently conditioned. I mean, from the front, much less, but peeled from behind, overall, decently conditioned. And again, decent size as well, and really good structure. It's most likely gonna be enough. It's most likely gonna be the right combination to defend the title, but I don't know. If Hadi comes in the way he was at the Ohio, it's gonna be really tough for Derek to defend. And now with Nick Walker in the mix as well... I don't know, I, I would like to see Derek 
push things a little bit more before he starts prepping. I would like to see him blow up. Maybe his approach is going to be different this year. Maybe he's still, you know, taking it easy with, with supplements and he's going to start, like, pushing, you know, hardcore when he starts prepping, you know, kind of try to grow into the show. I don't know what's going to be the end result, but I'm really curious to see it. This is his physique right now. You guys tell me down below in the comment section what do you think about Derek Lansford, Nick Walker, Big Remy, or whoever is doing this guest posing appearance. And if you guys enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this, just subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.